Hello, hello, it's Katerina. Hope you guys are all doing well today. First things first, let's work on matching our face with our neck. So I did self-tan last night, so I do want to match that first. I'm going to go in with my Olay Fresh FX Mattifier. You guys know I use this all the time. I love it. Really good for canceling out redness, minimizing your pores, and keeping you matte. So I did already do my brows as well, but I will link up here um, my brow tutorial. It's just using the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and click there. And then for my foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 228 because I did self-tan last night, and my face is just a little bit lighter than my neck today. So I'm going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender, my favorite way to blend in foundation. And let me know if you guys want an updated, just full coverage, or just a foundation routine video where I really go in depth. I feel like in my tutorials, I'm always kind of speeding through this part kind of rushing through it because I feel like it's so repetitive but let me know if you guys want to see that so then now we have our face and neck matching I'm gonna go in with concealer the first one that I'm using is the LA girl pro HD concealer in the shade nude kind of has that kind of uh, salmon peachy shade undertone so it's really good for canceling out those blue under eye dark circles that you guys know I have so I'm gonna blend them in with my beauty blender and then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light Medium, and I'm going to put this kind of to highlight my face. So on the bridge of my nose, all the way up to my forehead, keep its bow, chin, and then under my eyes as well. And I'm also going to blend this in with my Beauty Blender. To set that area, I'm going to be doing a little bit of cooking and baking. I know this looks really crazy, but I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried it, try it just once. See how you like it. I promise you that you're not going to want to stop because it looks so silly and crazy, but it really, really works. So I'm using the um, NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder with my Beauty Blender and just placing it everywhere that I put concealer. I let it sit for about 30 seconds, and then I go in with my Seleuze Foil Perfection Palette in the yellow shade and the peachy shade, and I dust everything off. So this is going to make sure that it doesn't crease throughout the day or concealer. It's going to also add more brightness and it's just going to really lock in place. I love this technique. I can't stop doing it and it really, really does work no matter what kind of translucent powder that you're using too. And today I did go under my contour area because I wanted to really kind of sharpen that up for a more defined contour today. And then to set the rest of my face because I am very oily, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 220. So moving on to eyes for a little bit. Do you guys do that too where you swatch everything out first to see what colors you want to do? Is that just me? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to first go in with the City Color. This is the eyeshadow primer. Um, it's very similar to kind of like a MAC Paint Pot, but it has a little bit more of a gel consistency as well. And then I'm going to go into this High Performance Naturals Palette by Tarte with this peachy shade. I know it looks like there's pretty much no color payoff, but it's one of those magical shadows that I feel like you can't really see it when you apply it but it's really necessary in terms of the whole blending process and everything. Then I'm going to take a dusty lavender shade from that same palette and place this um, right above my crease. This is going to be our transition shade, and it's just going to add a nice little pop of color, but still really neutral at the same time. I love this look. It just really makes everything kind of soft and romantic. Then I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Cream Eyeshadow. It's a Idol Eyes, I believe it is. It's pretty old, but it's in the shade Pixie number 130. Putting this on the center of my eyelids, just it's going to help um, create some dimension with the shadow that we're going to place over top, and then I'm just blending it in with the warmth of my finger. Going into the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go in with the shade YDK, my all-time favorite shade from this palette. It's a beautiful kind of taupey, brownish, grayish, color. It's just stunning and I'm going to pack it on all over my lid with a flat synthetic shader brush all the way from inner to outer corner. This is going to be the main shadow of this look. I love doing this look because it's very simple but it kind of looks complex just because the shadow has so much intensity and you know different dimensions and it. it's just absolutely gorgeous. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Tease also from that same palette. It's just a beautiful matte um, kind of taupey brown with a grayish purple undertone and I'm using the Morphe 330 brush to blend this in my crease area focusing on depositing most of the color on the outer V of my eye and then bringing it in towards about the middle of my um, eye as well. Then I'm going to take a large fluffy blending brush and just blend everything so that there's no harsh lines. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit more of that light lavender shade just because I felt like we lost a little bit of it. And I want that color to be there just for a slight, slight pop of color. Going back into the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Foxy with a small flat brush to um, do my brow bone highlight. I did want a matte shade right here because we want most of the focus to be right here on our eyelids. So I'm going to add a little bit more of Whitey K just on my eyelid area. Really want to make that pop and stand out. So I'm going to apply on some false lashes really quick and then work on the face. So we're going to go back into the Simply Spoiled Perfection palette with the kind of tans bronze shade and a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm going to put this all over my face where I usually contour. This is just going to help kind of warm up the face. Then to contour, I am going to go back into that same palette. You guys know my obsession with this palette. And I'm going to use the darkest shade with the Sephora 74 Contour Brush, really focusing on hollowing out my cheekbones. But girlfriend had a little bit of a strong hand today, a little heavy hand, like you guys can see. But don't worry, I will be blending and buffing everything out with a Kabuki brush right after this. I'm also hitting under my chin because this is really good for defining and slimming out that area. And look how <laughs> look how crazy that was. Okay, so going under my lip, under my nose, and then on the sides of my nose to kind of slim it up a little bit and also straighten it out. And then here we are blending. I do have a little tip whenever you are blending out your contour, if you do have a little bit of a heavy hand, focus on blending upwards because then it's not going to defeat the purpose of your contour. If you blend downwards, it makes it look muddy and just kind of defeats the purpose of contouring. And then for blush, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Studio Blush. You guys know, one of my all-time favorites, and I finally found it. Um, this is in the shade, I believe it's called Berry Mauve. It's a beautiful tea rosy mauve shade. I just, I love it with so many different looks. And then for a highlight, I'm going to go into the City Colors. This is the Highlighting Trio. I'm going to go with the Golden Shade. You guys know my obsession with this right now, too. I love this thing so much, and it's only about $8.99. I'm just hitting the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow, um, tip of my nose, and then also on the bridge of my nose as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm also going to hit my decollete area. Anytime that I'm wearing a shirt that does show my collarbone decollete area, I really like to highlight that. And then to set the rest of my face, because we are done with the actual powders and face products, I'm using the Hard Candy Fast Fabulous Setting Spray. So going back to the eyes, we're going to work on the lower lash line, and I'm just going to do the exact same steps that we did on the top, on the bottom. So I'm first going in with the peachy shade, and then here I am with the more lavender shade. I'm going to take a little bit of YDK right on the setter, just for a little bit of a pop. And then here I'm using the shade Busted, which I will show you in just a second. It's also from the Urban Decay palette. Um, just to add a little bit of definition on the outer V. So there is Busted right there. I'm also going to use that same pencil brush, and I'm going to apply it on the outer parts of my eye. I feel like this eye look was just calling for a little bit more intensity, a little bit more definition, and I thought this was perfect. So I'm using that pencil brush with really small, short strokes. That way it creates a really nice, beautiful gradient effect, and it's going to be really airbrushed and just blended. Then I'm going to take a mascara. This is the YSL Volume Effect Mascara, just to help kind of bind my natural lashes with my real lashes, or with the fake lashes. And then I'm going to also apply this on the lower lash line. We cannot forget about those lower lashes. Then for my favorite part, we're going with lips. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy. This is in the shade Trap. It is so stunning. I can already tell this lip combo is going to be my new favorite lip combo. I'm just obsessed with it. And I'm going to just apply that all over my lips. And I really like to cancel out my lips first um, with a pretty heavy concealer because I really like the look that it gives. And then I'm going to add a gloss over top. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Just because I wasn't feeling a matte lip today, but I wanted to keep that color. So this was a perfect combination. And this is a completed look, you guys. I do really wish that my um, eye glue dried all the way because you can see it. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in my next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. So today we're going to be talking about the Layery Hair Extensions. I'm going to take you through uh, the facts about them. I'm going to take you through full demonstrations on how I clip mine in. And then also the pros, the cons, just everything about them, my own personal thoughts and everything. So let's get started. <laughs> 